Around 2 a.m., hundreds of Israeli soldiers entered Janine refugee camp. They fought their way in, and in the ensuing firefight, many Palestinians were injured. But instead of arresting Palestinians in the camp, they bulldoze symbols of resistance to Israel's occupation of Palestinian territory. Its gate was destroyed, itself a monument to resistance, a statue of a horse, another symbol. A heavily armored bulldozer also threatened the entrance of the local hospital as it was taking in victims. The raids and the war on Gaza have hardened attitudes in the camp. One man tells us he can't stop his family members from fighting back. When you see the dead Palestinians and the tragedies unfolding in Gaza, what's left? How do you stop people from fighting back? Our hearts are not made of steel. This is an unusual tactic by the Israelis. Normally, this size of raid is designed to capture or kill Palestinian fighters in the camp. And it wasn't the only raid. This is now standard for Israeli forces. Multiple raids over multiple locations in the occupied West Bank. At the same time Janine was being raided, the Israeli army entered Silwad north of Ramallah and arrested people. They then entered the Hamid household. Farah Hamid was convicted in 2003 and was serving seven life sentences when he was released in 2011 as part of a prisoner swap deal with Israel. He was expelled to Gaza. His family has had little contact with him since then and no contact since October the 7th. The army drilled holes in the wall. They're checking the width of the concrete so if and when they come back to demolish the house, they know exactly what equipment to bring. They demolished this one in 2003 and the family rebuilt it. It's a nightmare come true for them. We're scared they'll demolish the house, knowing we're not linked to anything. Farah was punished, he spent jail time, and they already demolished the house, so why demolish it again? While the raid was over in a few hours, the aftermath will last a lot longer. The demolition of this house and others is known as collective punishment against Palestinian families. It's been criticized by Israeli human rights groups, Palestinian human rights groups and the United Nations. But Israel uses it as a deterrence. It says if it destroys people's houses, Palestinians will think twice about allowing family members to take part in any kind of resistance to the occupation. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Silwad. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.